lot. Be, they were just. It was when a lot of stuff was going on, right? You know so what? I don't like, understand. I'll hold time out. So we're on the radio twenty hours a week. <laughs> all right, and, uh, you know, and I know they're listening, but still, yeah, they they I don't know. trust you to give an interview about something. They didn't at that point. Yeah, at that point, they were afraid for what I think it was like right when everything had happened. So I had just gotten the job, and then maybe Mike was coming back at that point too, and there was a weirdness going on and they were sensitive about it i there just was remember weirdness going on around here yeah just when a was bit. when was weirdness going on around here that's what i'd like to know man i tell you these last three years <laughs> these you last know, three there, years there's been a lot else. of weirdness that has gone on here for many many years prior to the last three years yeah <laughs> but a lot of nonsense that has gone on at the shore at, at this place there has been and then nonsense is one thing but like the moving and the shaking and all of the, the different stuff that goes on i mean that's it's been stability has not been the word right i don't know for 13 the, years here in the morning it's been stable eddie me jerry bobby and al all stay together and we we're fine sure. right it's like when acdc got a new lead singer right yeah, <laughs> yeah or van halen right same thing That's or that al, sure. had, al had made that uh analogy at at and one point so. another guy that al worked with for six months <laughs> yeah david lee Roth. yes yeah i don't well, even we, think it was six months yeah. yeah since we're being weird and awkward at this point are we i mean i feel like there's a chance that we're we're not going to like one of us could break off coming up in in the next couple of months. That's what it feels like to me. Like this one this of us group is here, breaking off. Not me, not me or you, Boomer. But I don't, I don't know. I mean, Al, I don't know about Al. Al's no, not I'm going anywhere. I'm not going I anywhere. I don't know about Al. I mean, Al is not going anywhere. He's staying right where he is. He likes his little apartment there. He likes staying at home. He likes getting up in the morning. Likes doing his turkey sandwich at you know at noon. <laughs> that kind of thing. He's he's all good. He's got his whole life is set up now. Right. I've got retirement life already right now. <laughs> <laughs> got my it's dog the greatest thing I'm in the world. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. there was all that talk about maybe one of somebody moving to the afternoons, uh, boomer. Oh yeah, that uh, was a long time ago now. So we could talk freely about that. Yeah. Right? When, and then like, basically Al and I. And Jerry, we're like, no, we're staying in the yeah. morning. Yeah, yeah. I, I went, I went to Alan, Jerry, and Eddie. I said, you know, guys, how would you guys like to go? To the, you know, afternoon, maybe it'd be a little bit better lifestyle for us. Have at a good all time. Time. See ya. Hey, all three of them. No, 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 and no. You know, Jesus, God. All right, guys. You know what story? I'd love to tell the whole story of how everything went down when I ended up getting the job with you guys, and then Boomer calling me back to his office when that happened, and everything that went on there. Because one day I got to tell that story. Now we're three years down the road. Things are going fine. I'm secure. I got a contract. All that stuff. There's other stuff that's happening at the radio station. But one day I really want to tell that story. Well, I, I don't remember the, the story, honestly. I don't remember it. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I remember this vividly, obviously. All right. Well, there was a whole, like, so your big thing at the time was that you liked working with me. You liked me. You thought it could work. But... They were rushing you, and you didn't like a shotgun marriage. This is this was the thing that you were saying. Okay, like I I like them a lot, but I don't want to be rushed. And they felt like they needed to get something done, like management, quickly because they also had the afternoon opening. So they were waiting for you to make a decision. So they had basically told me I was going to be a part of WFAN, but they didn't know where it was going to be because you didn't want to be rushed. So I was told that I was going to be in afternoons. So <laughs> this is the way that it worked. All right. I was going to be doing afternoons. like, And I just remember going, oh, man. Like, I thought I did a really good job with Boomer, and he liked me and everything. And just he's not making a decision, but they want to put me in afternoons. So Chernoff tells me this, like, that I'm going to afternoons, right? So I'm like, all right. The next morning, you, I'm doing Geo and Jones in the newsroom. You do your CBS Sports Minutes. You go to me, come on, back to my office. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. So I said, uh, I said, yeah, Boomer. And you're like opening up a box of like healthy snacks that somebody sent you. You know, it was like cauliflower crisps or something. You open up a box, you grab a bag, you throw it at me. Hey, you like this stuff? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then you go, let's do it. We're doing it. We're going together. Call your agent. We're done. You're going in the mornings. We're doing this. And I was like, yes. All right. Great. <laughs> So then Chernoff comes around the corner, who had just told me the day before I was going to afternoons because you couldn't make up your mind, right? Right. So he comes around the corner, 
and you go, hey, Mark, I just told him, get the deal done. We're doing this. And Turnoff goes, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, all right. I remember that. I remember because that. you weren't sure. <laughs> so then I'm like, oh, no. So he's like, okay, whatever. So then I'm like, I'm texting my wife. It's mornings. I can't wait. I wanted to work with Boomer. This is the thing that I wanted. I love mornings. I've been doing mornings. This is the greatest thing in the world. Like, so I'm doing G. Owen Jones. No one knows what's going on. I'm like the happiest I've ever been in my life. You know, like, wow, you're in a good mood. So then after the show, I go back there, and I said, well, I was unexpected. This is great. This is what I wanted. Trump goes, well, there's other people that want you to still do afternoons. <laughs> and I said, what? <laughs> so he goes, what we're doing is we're having a meeting with Boomer in the office for an hour, and we're going to w- w- hash this whole thing out. So I stuck around while... There were you, Chernoff, and Olivero were in Chernoff's office with the door closed for an hour determining my future in that room, where I was going to be with the door closed. And I sat there in the newsroom, like, trying to come up with, like, conversation with Chris McMonagall about what was going on. Mm. And, and then you come out of, the, you come out of <laughs> that room, you start walking down the hallway, and you go like this, thumb up. And my thumb always goes like this. But you, yeah. you, had, the th- you had the thumbs up on your chest and you gave me a nod and I was like, all right, good. That was it. And that was the end of it well, right there. there. Yeah. Crazy. I just told yeah, you that, that was crazy. That was, was it was a crazy, crazy, crazy time. Stuff. That was three oh, years yes. ago now. So yes. Yeah. There's an, yeah. But I, yeah, there was a point where I, it was going to be, well, I'll just leave that alone, <laughs> but the afternoon <laughs> show was going to be something else. Right. Yeah. And I was going to be a part of it because you didn't want the shotgun marriage, but I'm glad that it worked out the way that it did. Oh, it did. Because- I mean, those guys get nervous, you know, you know how they, those, those types are. They <laughs> are get you all nervous sure? And are you sure? Because you, you said you weren't sure. Yeah. That was a crazy time, man. I don't know. It's going to be, you know, it's always a crazy time. When is it not a crazy time? It's always a crazy True, time. True, especially in radio. Yeah, and then, It's a and crazy it's, time. It's going to get crazier. That, that yeah. I can tell you. 